Welcome back to the worst stream ever. The first game is Stardew Valley. All right, Eats, it's time to begin your new farming life. Chop that bush. Yeah, if only Seagird were here to help me cut this tree down. I should have made Seagird. That would have been way better. I've decided I don't want to be a farmer. I just tried it. I hate it. I had to, like, actually work. No. Come on. <laughs> Let me go back to the city. Oh, there's a small rail on the way. Oh, lame. Come on. I'm going to become a video game NPC. That's my new goal. I'm just going to stand here under this lamp. And if players come from this direction and go, oh, why can't I leave? I'll be like, ha. You can't leave the game. I tried to once, but it didn't work. And I'll turn around and go stand by the wall and look at him again. And then if they hit it again, I'll go, Ha! You can't leave the game. I tried that once, but it didn't work. All right, the next game is Stick It to the Man. Yeah, Stick It to the Man. If I do not get to Stick It to the Man in this game, I'm going to be mad. I, I will feel falsely advertised, too. I want to Stick It to the Man. Come on. When can I Stick It to the Man? We've been in the game for three minutes so far, and we have not yet sticked it to any man. I have control of a giant hand now, but there's no men here. So again, I must ask, when do I get to stick it to the man? Alt F4, no, I'm not Alt F4ing until I stick it to the man. Oh, there's one, there's a guy. Oh, he's gonna kill himself. Oh, no, 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 no. You are not hanging yourself before I stick it to you. Oh my God, here we go. We're actually gonna stick it to the man. Here we go. Oh, finally. Thank God. Okay, the next game is Stone Rid. Dude, is this Ori in the Blind Forest alpha gameplay before they finish the good artwork or the good gameplay? Oh, it's one of these games where there's like two realities and you switch back and forth. We already played this. We played this. It was like an old man game, remember? It was called like The Rise of Steam or something. What was that even called? That one was better than this, though. The next game is called Streamline. An unknown error. Yeah, awesome. Oh, wait. It just, it just shuts down if it can't connect? What? What is this? Hang on. What was what, what is Streamline? A frantically fun multiplayer action game with deep Twitch integration? What? I want to play that. That's really disappointing, you know? I came into it not knowing what it was, and then I read it had deep Twitch integration. I was like, whoa. But then the game wouldn't connect and I couldn't play it, so... It was a real roller coaster of emotions there. All right. The next game is Strong Bad Episode 1, Homestar Ruiner. All right, so this is a point-and-click adventure game starring my boy Strong Bad. And if you don't know who Strong Bad is, he's very important to the lore of this channel. And you know me, I hate point-and-click games, but uh, for Strong Bad, I make an exception. And the great thing about SBCG 4AP is that there's five separate episodes, and we have to play four more of them. Volume, widescreen, your vote counts. Don't quit strong bad gaming. You'll be saved after I load my nunchuck gun. Settings, baby. Settings. So if you like Homestar Runner, uh, get these games. If you don't like Homestar Runner, go watch it until you like it and then get these games. And that's my review of SBCG4AP. <laughs> Here's the Oboe Shoes Origins. Lights and solar calculators. Look, I can make mine say oboe shoes. The next game is Stronghold 3. I've examined the enemy castle inside and out, and I think I've come up with a perfect strategy. So the plan is, uh, we're all just gonna run in. Do we have ladders? No. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna stand here and get shot. Is that the plan? Oh, the gate's on this side. Oh, guys, come on. We attacked the wrong side. All right, my bad. That's my bad. But you know what are you gonna do? Sometimes you just gotta walk through some fire to get to the water on the other side. No, come on, don't give up. Don't give up while we're so close. Oh, come on, lame. Bunch of quitters. Okay, the next game is one of the best games ever made. I unironically believe that. It's Subnautica. If you've never played Subnautica, you should not watch this because it'll spoil the whole game and you should play this game. Okay, yeah, these chunks do not load still. Wow. The performance is still <laughs> quite bad, but the game itself is good. Okay, I don't know how to get out of here. I'm playing creative mode and I still somehow got horribly lost. Like, this game is terrifying, honestly. Oh my god, whoa. <laughs> oh my... Ah! Oh, that made my heart jump. I'm on creative mode, and I ran into a rock. And I, like, jumped in my chair. Alright, where's the big boys? We gotta find the large lads. Where are the large lads at? The dunes? Oh, yeah, the dunes. I hate the dunes. Hang on, can I go there? Biome dunes. Oh, it took me there. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh. Oh, I don't... Mm. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, it's one of those guys. Ah, God. Life forms in the region. Yeah, I'm aware. I went here when I played single player and never came back. I think I saw one over here. Oh, there it is. Oh, boy. Ooh, that's a big fella right there. Blast. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Come on. Oh, we dodged it. You're a slippery snake, but try to dodge this one. Come on. Get him. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> that's an advanced technique. Oh, and he came back out from the ground. No. Ah! The next game is Summoner. I can't tell if the game is going right now. Uh, what you're seeing is what I see, so... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say that Summoner did not work. 
Oh man, I wish Summoner would have worked, because next we have a visual novel. It's called Sunrider Academy if you care, but you shouldn't. You spent all winter vacation doing nothing but playing games. But, but at this rate, you might end up like one of those unemployed people. They're called streamers, thank you very much. This game has something resembling gameplay. Okay, that's a huge step up for all the visual novels we played so far. A saga says, I'm a fire in my lasers. Okay, let's stop playing this now. I think that's a good excuse. The next game is Super Distro. All right, Super Distro, what do you got for me? Man, video games have changed. Oh, dude, it's 8-Bit Boy again. They're just not as hard as they used to be. So I set out to create the hardest game ever. Don't try. Please don't try. I can make gamers everywhere rage once again. No, don't. Don't do that. The point is not to make them rage. The point is to make it be fun and challenging. Why do I get the feeling this is going to be a bunch of bullcrap? Oh, I'm a gamer and I'm raging. Oh, gamers are raging at how hard Super Distro is. Wow. All right, I'm not going to give this freaking buttwad of a dev what he wants by raging at his game. But I will say that he misunderstood what people want. People want challenging games that are fair but challenging. They don't want bullcrap with a million projectiles and things you can't dodge in the first level. Super Distro is the hardest nails. Ha! Mostly negative. Ha! His game is mostly negative. Oh, that brings me joy. Taking difficult gameplay to a whole new level. Super Distro is not for the faint of heart. The weak need not apply. Oh, what a dick. I hate this guy. My review of Super Distro is I'm sorry that I gave it any exposure. The next game is Super Galaxy Squadron EX Turbo. In the year 2335, first contact was made with a text that scrolls too fast to read. All right, if you like shmups, uh, this one looks pretty good. I don't know if it's actually good because I know nothing about shmups, but it looks pretty good. The next game is Super Hexagon. Oh boy. Ooh, hang on. Hang on. Is this good? Is this a good game? Oh, it is. Oh, this is fun, actually. Whoa, we found a good game. This is a nice, simple game, you know? You don't gotta overdo it. You don't gotta overdo it to make a fun game. The next game is Super Lemonade Factory. Okay, um, I wanted a game where I make lemonade and, like, sell it. Not a platformer game, so... This game really subverted my expectations in a bad way. The next game is Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery with songs and sounds by Jim Guthrie. <laughs> Mobile games be, like, amazing console-quality graphics. Yeah, actually, this art style is pretty good. Oh, dear. <laughs> um, uh, Jim Guthrie, what kind of game you make? You know, it made a sploosh sound. Oh my god. To the mountain folk of the Caucasus, he was known as Logfella, and he seemed cool. Oh, that's great, dude. Logfella. That's Sigurd's new last name. His name can be Sigurd Logfella. Okay, review of this game. Um, it's basically a movie where you have to click on an arrow every now and then to make it keep going, but, uh, the art is nice. The next game is Supreme Commander 2. To fight monsters, we created monsters of our own. The Jaeger program was born. Come on, Gypsy Danger. You can do it. Come on, Gypsy Danger. Don't let me down now. You're so close. Oh, it died. The next game is Survivor Squad. Oh my god, look at the character artwork. <laughs> oh boy, this is a game maker game if I've ever seen one. The next game is Sven Co-op. Oh my god, some kind of evil zombie monster thing. And I put the volume all the way down. And it's still this loud. Okay, we interrupt this Sven co-op epic gameplay. They bring you a poll. What iced tea brand is better, Gold Peak or Pure Leaf? Vote in the chat now. If you're watching us on the highlights, go in the comments. I'll put a link to the straw poll in the comments. Wait to decide which tea is better. The next game is The Swapper. Hey, the mouse is stuck to the side of the screen. I can't get it over to the text box. Come on. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I hovered over it for a second. Come on. Come on. Oh, we got a letter in. Okay, hit okay, hit okay. Hit okay. Come on. <laughs> Why is it doing this? Why is the mouse magnetically attached to the left side of the screen? Like, I can move the mouse, but it, it snaps back to the middle of the screen for some reason. I don't know why. I also don't really... Gamepad plugged in? No, there's no gamepad plugged in. Okay, so review of the swapper. Uh, what's wrong with your mouse? The next game is System Shock 2. This is like before inventory systems were super mainstream, so like they had to explain everything. This is kind of interesting, actually. Whoa, it's an audio log. This game has audio logs, too? Man, revolutionary. Should we be OSA, Navy, or Marines? Oh, dude, Marines. You gotta be a space Marine. Take me to the Space Force, baby. Oh, yeah, I'm joining up. We got a dead guy. That's not good. Oh, we got a gun. That is good. Oh, I had to charge it first. Okay. And then... Bop. There we go. It's pretty intuitive. This game is pretty intuitive for being so old. All right, System Shock Review. Uh, I gotta play this game. All right, the next game is Tabletop Simulator. SpongeBob, moving five. One, two, three, four, five. Squidward, moving one. Good job, Squidward. Ooh, four for Squidward. One, two, three, four. That's an escalator. Oh, man, Squidward's in the lead. 
Whoa, Escalator for SpongeBob. Oh, he's so close. He's on the home stretch. SpongeBob, whoa. Oh, no, he hit a eel. Oh, my God. Oh, all the way back down to 25. Yikes. That is funnier than 24, though. Clinches it with the one. Oh, perfect finish by Squidward. Congratulations, Squidward. All right, the next game is Tactical Intervention. With great sadness, I must inform you that Tactical Intervention is shutting down. Oh, man. Ah, oh, rats. The next game is Mutant Blobs Attack. In this game, you play as Corrosion, and your goal is to go into the sink, I guess. Oh, a lava lamp. Any game with a lava lamp's a good game in my book. All your beer are belong to us. Oh, God. How many dated references can we pack into one stream? We already had I'm a fire in my laser. The next game is Tales from the Borderlands. Look out, idiot. I got two guns, and I'm not afraid to use them. Uh-oh. He's got more guys. Uh-oh. Looks like I have to do my cool move. Got him. Knife in the face, baby. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Right in the eye. Perfect shot. Get up, everybody. Come on. Back to work. Back to work. We got a stream to run here. All right, the next game is Team Fortress 2. This is a nice relaxing game, you know? This is a, this is a, this is a classic game. Apparently when I was super into it, I made my dot green. I don't know when I did that. I was like, I must be, I gotta be able to see my crosshair in all environments. Yeah, I'm an elite player. Look at that guy, he spent so much money on this game. Wow, I bet he feels really cool. I hope he feels, I hope he feels happy about that yellow sweater. They probably cost him like a hundred actual dollars. Yellow sweater is eight cents. Oh, well, I mean, that's still eight more cents than I would spend on this game. Says the guy who has a FaZe Clan red line op. Free-to-play Source Engine games are very popular worldwide because they have low system requirements and they're usually pretty fun. So therefore, TF2 will probably survive forever. 